board with this is the world still going to be looking at africa all right oh that's what i wanted that's why i was going to do it see <clears throat> well you can double check me on these africa's full vibrant rivers 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 everywhere center of the year is mount Morajo. boom boom, boom. All right, Africa, still looking good. River, rivers. And you can't just say, well, this looks plain. So does that. So does this. This is its, its rivers, its lakes. Don't, you'll lose that argument. Still looking good. Look where Ethiopia is. Over here. Not over here. They already got a king over here. It's all Ethiopia. What? Wow. What? What is this? Bus is lost. Chaos. Esso. We're going to be getting into these. This is part of that Petroleum math, where they have to have these angles so that they can redo their charts all the time to try to make it fit on a globe. There's a lot going on in this math. It's got circles inside circles. He tries to explain them like, oh, you should look at it like this where it's being out. This is, you know, he's trying to show, look, I know it's not a heart, but I'm trying to show the magnetism. I'm trying to show the flow of uh, the poles, or I, I don't know exactly what he's trying to do. But that's pretty weird. He's not just showing it. That's exactly what it is. It's a figurative map. This is uh, these circles. These are the lines. These are outcomes they lost so many ships and people that, you know, got lazy. When they did the globe map and those Jesuits sent you out on the sea with their charts, that was your full time job. You checked them all the time. You didn't say, okay, I just checked them. I'll do it in an hour. No, you'll be way off. You'll be way off. They expect you to be working full time. Africa still looking really good, really strong. This is a Mercator's map, the original Mercator's map. Just a part of it. It was quite a production. See the size of the ships. Another close-up of Africa on the Mercator map. Still looking good. Just a busy map, right? Comets, swords, the signs are going to be in the heavens. And they were. This is what they were looking for. Pop in. See, these take a long time to really get a grasp on it. But you have to know these are the ships that they had. They're going to be, you're going to be noticing that the ships are getting smaller. Whoop, they want to skip the double-headed eagle. See, this is that same where people are struggling to deal with the uh, you know, there is no proper map. You're never going to find. Here's the map. You can give that up. But this is the double-headed eagle that was the sign found around the world for over a thousand years. And it wasn't the Illuminati. But if the Illuminati were going to incorporate a sign, 
that would be easily misinterpreted, what would they what would they use and say, this is our sign forever? They choose the sign that was for the Christian world. Thousand year reign of Christ. Africa still looking good. Here's how it's showing Obito Pisani. You see, this is why you, you, you try to work it on the map. What Pisani is really pointing out is that the all important cardinal directions on the sphere become relative when the sphere is transferred to paper. The conceptual or interpreted world strives for an objective viewpoint unrelated to the location of any human. So that's why you have to constantly rework it, constantly rework it. Africa still doing good. Tartaria, here's this is all Tartaria, this is all Ethiopia. Uh, hint, Africa goes down in the 1850s. Hey, you got you white people, what's going on? Just to look at their little this is their star fort world. This is their their harbors were busy, busy, busy. It was a golden age. They still believed in this. Now, this does not mean that they believed in a globe because the, you know, I think the world is based like on an eye and, or it has that upper sphere, top sphere. We live on the plane. It's like a tire, like the moon is a tire. Oh, we'll back up on that one. Or do you still want to go with that? Come on. Africa's still doing. This is the Sahara Desert. This is the first mention of it. And this isn't Tartic, you know. Well, I'm going to close. Let me close this. Oh, I thought I cut out a picture and showed you the. All right. But here, notice that this is the one of the first maps that calls it a Sahara Desert. Sahara Desert. And this is starting to go with uh, Nigra. And this is about 1840s. And it's a pretty small bit of desert. We still have the rivers flowing, but watch out for this desert part. You'll see. Still have the rivers. Still have cities. But now we have this. Now we have, this is the Serra or Desert of the Barbary. And this is Negro land. Because welcome to the 1850s. Things are changing, people. It's all desert now. You can have a road that used to follow a river, but the river gone. They have this lake here. I don't know if it's still there or not. More confusion on the map of Monday. You know what's going on here? Chart of the world. And this is uh, 1848. Let's see if I, if I didn't pop in on it. Great desert. Great Desert, the biological, geological map of the world. And that's, this is also uh, another one of the, the 1850s when they started going like, oh no, we're different. The people up here are different than the people down here. We can tell by their skulls, paleontology, uh, the craziness they do, the stereotypical exaggeration their hair's like this because their skull is like that. Just utter nonsense shot out, spit out, so that people with Fergie and caps on could be going like, yeah, you know what their problem was? They believed in a God. We should have a 10-day work week. Do to do, ba ba ba. And as a matter of fact, well, I don't want to go. 
All right, this is Crystal Palace game, 1850s. You know, they had a map of the world, of course, just like in Risk, you know, Africa dead. But I think I took some pictures. Uh, you can see the city in the background. They knew what they knew what kind of world they lived in, and they had to show it. It's the white man's world. This is the the uh, I think the London Tea Company, their map of the world, and it's freedom, fraternity, and federation for the world. Of course, it is. They're that's what they're working for. Everybody uh, get tested and find out if you are management, labor, alpha, beta, gamma. I think this is another game from the 1880s, Pirate and Traveler. You know, it's one or the other, you know. The, this is, uh, I want to say this is the United Nations map. Topographical map. Yeah, that's normal. I'm sure these things just all slid together. Come on, God walked through it with a sword. Reminder of uh, on a globe, the ring of fire is on an inside, on a flat earth map. It is just surrounds the plate on one side. That was an attack that I teach. That is when Satan tried to end it for the Lord and the church, but the earth swallowed the water and the devil was wroth. But yeah, because why is this a part of the ring of fire? Well, take a look. I'm thinking this is where your best of the people and tribes were, and they had to finish them off, even if some of them were white. Okay, those are more pictures that you recognize from my heart fossils. All right, we're going to come right back, and I'm going to go into a quick Bible study. Okay, we're going to be looking at first thing starting in chapter, and in the fourth year of Solomon's reign over Israel in the month of Ziph, which is the second month, he began to build the house of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, let's jump down. To verse 7 chapter 6 verse 7 that's one that we should just remember first Kings chapter 6 verse 7 chapter 6 verse 7 and the house when it was building was built of stone made ready before it was brought thither, so that there was neither hammer nor axe nor any tool of iron heard in the house while it was building because you didn't want to disturb the king. I guess if you couldn't just tap it with a wood mallet in place, send it back. Your kit house is no good. So, so we've all seen those around the world, whether it, you were going to order cows or in your city you had chariots. You ordered them from these people, these central figures, because it says it. Let's go back to first king. When the king order these type of things chapter 6 verse 7 and the house when it was a building was built of stone made ready before it was brought thither it was made before it was brought to them so that there was neither hammer nor axe nor any tool of iron heard in the house while it was building they could do that with thin layers of whatever they did for their mortar and then just stack it up perfectly with their string, their plumb line, and their string. A good job. So that we've done. We've proven we can't maintain what they built. 